having ICAP in my school, like bringing people in to um, motivate us to continue forward and to um, just share their experiences of how they've came about. I just, I think it's worked really well. I started taking data about 2004. I took over um, our senior seminar class. It was kind of like our beginning ICAP, you know, career planning. And I felt like only our seniors are getting this, you know, we need to start earlier. So we started earlier and that's where ICAP came in and it worked out really great. ICAP is Individual Career and Academic Planning. Once a month, we, for half a day, students work in advisory groups and they do career planning all day long. We embraced this about four years ago and began the process. At first, you know, I kind of did it on my own and then eventually we started bringing the teachers into the process and so now I create lesson plans um, around different career planning um, milestones that they do on college in Colorado and then students complete these in advisory groups with their teachers. The teachers implement the lesson plans. It gets them thinking about right now and what can I do right now to help my education so that I can be prepared for college and then that post-secondary workforce. Today we have guest speakers um, based on the um, career field that they're interested in. So we have nurses, we have doctors, we have um, law enforcement coming. Um, on our grade level days, we usually bring in a motivational speaker and they talk about you know, goal setting, pursuing um, your dreams, overcoming obstacles, um, staying away from poor choices. We try to at least do them once a month and we've been fortunate enough to add uh, two in, in in the last three weeks and so if we can get once a month um, we're pretty happy with that and we also align those with our PLC days so I think uh, we each Wednesday once a month is fantastic and if we're up to me we maybe do them a little more and we'll continue to put those in our calendar because they're that important. I like that we bring people in so they have a tangible you know representative of that field like today perfect example you know I have 20, 20 girls that want to be a nurse Ms. Birch comes up and talks about her, her school experience, um, her life experience and being a nurse. So not only do they get to focus on what they want to do, they also get to see somebody who's done it. We want to help our students reach um, post-secondary success. So what is it that they want to accomplish? What, is, what are their own career goals? And so looking at what kind of post-secondary plan they need to make to do to make that happen. You know, I had two good solid parents, but we didn't talk a lot at home about what I was going to do in my future. I think my mom was more worried about me being a graduate in high school and so same thing is you know even if it's four hours a day um, they're up there talking about what am I going to do what do I want to do and not only does it let me help them you know try to focus on what they want to do for their future it gives me a good um, outlet just to talk about my own experiences they get to navigate in college in Colorado and see what's out there as far as careers and education and what kinds of salaries they'll make after college. With college in Colorado, um, I just log in to my own, um, my own personal page and I'm able just to put in my own progress of what I've done and, and it's really cool to read like the stuff that I've done like in the past years just to know how much I've changed over the years. I'm seeing my students as they come into their senior year much better prepared, much more knowledgeable about what they want to do. Um, we're seeing an increase in um, scholarships, more than double over the years. In 2004, about 20% of our kids uh, went on to post-secondary education. Last year, about 76% of our kids went on to post-secondary education. If, if some folks in, in the state of Colorado can take this model, and be able to learn from it and be able to do ICAP day and not just do ICAP because the state's telling you to, I think ultimately you're going to get better results after your kids cross that graduation stage. You know, I think this has really been an exciting thing for our students. I think it's the right thing to do for students.